All right guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, all right, listen, it's it's the time of year, the time of year the, where consumerism is celebrated. So I'm gonna start this off with a quick question of harmony. It's about a brand. I don't know how to say this brand anymore, or I do, but it's said differently in different areas of the world. So let's ask Harmony how to say this. Okay, Harmony, um, I'm thinking of a brand. It is the sponsor of Usain Bolt, begins with P. It is a, a jungle cat. Say it again. Puma. Puma. Okay. Got it. Puma. So we're going to get back into this in just a second, but right now Puma is offering 30 to 50% off all their running stuff uh, on their website. And that's just one of the things. I just wanted to get that started with Harmony to see how she says that word. Puma. Well, how do you say it? I say Puma. Puma. <laughs> Not Puma. Funny. So do you say Puma like you pronounced oo? or you pronounced you? Let me know in the comments below. Also, also let me know in the comments below what you are buying during this Black Friday, Cyber Monday kind of celebratory deals everywhere time of year. That's what I wanna know, right in the comments below. All right guys, listen, before we get off this whole uh, Puma, Puma topic, let me give my buddy Mark a ring. This is Running With Mark. I will link to his channel up here. He is British and he is gonna tell me how he says Puma or as Harmony says, Puma. Hello Mark, you are on with all the viewers of my channel. Okay, so you know that brand? You know that brand who sponsors Usain Bolt? It's a jungle cat. Do you know the brand I'm talking about? Puma. Puma, Mark says Puma. Puma. Okay, well, did you know that Harmony says Puma? So I guess here in the United States, people say it a bit differently and that's what we were just talking about. All right. So it's just like Nike, Nike, Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. Exactly, Puma. exactly. <laughs> we all say it differently. All right, Mark, um, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for, thanks for taking the time to speak to everyone. Oh, I meant to say bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> see you, mate. The stuff we're gonna talk about today is not an exhaustive list. I'm not gonna tell you all the Black Friday deals that are out there. I'm just gonna kind of whet your appetite, kind of show you a few things that are some great deals. And really, I wanna start the conversation. I want you to start looking to see if you can find something that is just too good to pass up. We already talked about Puma. Actually, I, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone wearing a pair of Puma shoes at a race but I think it's more in Europe. Let me know in the comments if you have worn Puma running shoes or you know anyone that has. But let's get right on. Jackrabbit has some pretty good deals. They have the Pegasus Turbo 2s for $135 or actually $134.98 and that's down from $180. And yeah, those shoes are a couple years old, but I tell you, if you have run in the Turbo 2s, you're a fan of them. Also, another hugely popular shoe that we've seen this year is the Nike React Infinity Run Fly Knit, and that can be got for around $108 on Jackrabbit. I've also seen the Brooks Ghost 12 for, I think, $90. And you can see here on the screen, it's actually $91 down from $130, which is a bit misleading because you can buy the Brooks Ghost 13 for $130. So really the Brooks 12 for $130, it isn't entirely accurate, but $90 for these shoes is a heck of a deal. Solomon is also offering 25% off of I don't know if it's everything on their website, but a lot of stuff. So of course I had to look up the one thing that I absolutely love from Solomon and that is my hydration pack. I use the Advanced Skin 12 set and it can be got for $123.75, which is a fantastic deal. And that's 25% off. If you haven't already bought a running hydration pack, Solomon makes some pretty good packs and the Advanced Skin 12 set, it's a 12 liter pack. And though that seems big, I have used it from anywhere from like 20 mile runs when I need to carry a little more hydration 
uh, all the way up to an 100 mile race and I can pack everything that I need in that pack. It isn't too bulky even though it's a 12 liter pack and for $123 it still sounds expensive but it is worth every single penny and I think I paid full price for my one which is a couple years old and I paid $180. I still think that was money well spent. $123.75 for the newest version is an absolute steal. Maybe someone in your life, maybe you, is in the market for a new running watch. And there are some good deals right now. Now is absolutely the time to buy. The Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro, Garmin's premium sports watch running and every other sport under the sun is on sale for $535 on Amazon. But that's not all. The Garmin Instinct Solar is on sale on Amazon for less than $300. It's got a little more of a rugged look, which isn't really my cup of tea, but $300 for all the features that this watch offers is a pretty good deal. Let's stick with Garmin for just one more second because this is this I think is the best deal out there the Garmin Vivo Active 3 for $130 it is an incredible deal. Now, of course, it is last year's model. They're out with the Vivo Active 4. There are watches with more features, but for $130, you really can't go wrong for what amounts to a premium running and fitness watch. The Garmin Vivo Active 3, $130. And I will link to the Amazon things in the show notes below. And of course, they are affiliate links. So if you buy through them, I get a little kickback. Just help support the channel. But let's go on to Sunto. Sunto has some fantastic deals too, but they're not on Amazon. So don't go on Amazon thinking you're going to get the best deal. This is where a little bit of research is going to pay off. The Sunto 9 is 40% off and it's on sale for $299. Less than $300 for one of Sunto's flagship watches. But the actual flagship watch, the Sunto 9 Barrow, is only $374. Now be careful. Don't fall into this trap of buying the heart rate strap with it because before the sale, the heart rate strap was apparently $50. You can see on the screen right now that it was $599 for just the watch or $649 for the heart rate strap. Now the watch is on sale for $374 with the heart rate strap, it's $538. That means if you were to buy the heart rate strap while the watch is on sale, you'd be paying $164 for it. So probably best to buy that separately from the actual watch. So get that deal, $374 for the Sunto 9 Barrow. At the time of making this video, Polar only has one watch on sale and that's the Vantage M. But that watch has a huge savings. It is down from $280 down to about $168. Now Polar is going to be releasing some other watches with some huge discounts over the next couple of days. All these sales end on Cyber Monday. So after you finish watching this video, I want you to go to Polar's site and see if they've updated any more watches that are on sale. As of the filming of this video, only the Vantage M is on sale and if they have deals on some of their new watches like the Grit X or the Vantage V2 we're in for a treat. We are in for a treat. Okay, one more thing I want to share with you guys now. If you are a running YouTuber, I know a lot of running YouTubers also watch other running YouTubers videos like me. Maybe you're in the market for a new camera. Maybe you want something to capture that running footage. You know, well, there are some fantastic deals out there. I'm briefly going to go through them. Guys, Insta360 is running a fantastic deal. Their waterproof modular 360 camera, the 1R, is on sale for $407. That's down from $479. That seems to be a pretty good deal. Now I know the Insta360 One X2 was just released that, well it, it's been released, they're still not shipping to everyone yet, but the One R, that's on sale. If you're looking for a 360 camera that can also be kind of a 4K action camera, this could be the camera for you. Of course I have to mention the camera that I use for my action footage and that is the GoPro Hero 9, that is now on sale for $400. Really not that good a deal, but it's, it's a fantastic camera and I think it's well worth $400. It's just with everyone else slashing their prices, GoPro really needs to, you know, take a page out of everyone else's books. But you know, I know a lot of companies are not slashing the prices of their, their flagship stuff that has just been released because it's still so new, people are gonna pay full price for it. Running YouTubers, if you are still using a phone to film your running footage, if you're using an older GoPro camera, now is the time to buy because I just looked this up on Amazon and you can buy a GoPro Hero 8. It's renewed but it's only $250 and the GoPro Hero 8 is a fantastic camera and for $250 it is a deal that can't be missed. Now it is renewed but Amazon still offers their 90 day return policy so if it breaks, if you change your mind, send it back to Amazon. I think if you're using the Hero 7, probably not worth the upgrade, but if you're using anything prior to the Hero 7, the Hero 8 for $250 is where you need to be. Guys, this, is, this has been a fun one. This is fun looking through all the stuff that is on sale at this time of year. So I wanna know what you're in the market for. Honestly, I'm really not in the market for anything, but 
it's still fun to shop. It's fun to look around and see all these good deals. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, now would be a fantastic time to do so. Guys, be kind, be happy, run well. See you next time.